Welcome to Germany. I'm currently on my way home from Norway. Um, so I've been on the road eight days now. Started in Stavanger um, and I'm cycling all the way back to the UK, catching the ferry at the Hook of Holland. So I just thought I'd show you the, the bike and the kit that I've used for this trip. So yeah, onto the bike. So this is the Mason ISO frame. ISO stands for In Search Of. Um, I've actually, I've had this for a while. It's a steel frame. It's kind of built for this kind of thing. I actually used this on the Tour Divide in 2019, the one I completed and um, it's also the bike I used when I won GB Duro in 2020 so kind of fun memories for me um, it's a bit battered and scratched but I kind of think it has character and each scratch means something onto the, the build of the bike so I've got an XGR chain set mainly because GRX is, is a gravel um, chain set and it's not um, the, the boost spacing this bike is a boost spaced um, I've got the GRX DI2 rear mech it's 11 I'm gonna say 44 cassette uh, I don't really know, something like that. Uh, fairly standard, uh, and then it's 36 tooth. It's a wolf tooth components, 30 36 tooth chainring up front. Wheels, these are a custom build, so they're the Hunt Limitless gravel rims, and they're laced up onto the Son Dynamo front hub, and then a Boost mountain bike rear hub. Again, um, they're they're custom because the standard wheel set is is for gravel bikes, uh, not Boost ones. Tires, I'm running these rather cool Renault Antelope Hill, uh, 55 millimeter big fat slicks. I really like them. This trip has probably been 35, 40% like gravel and off-road and the rest has been tarmac. So this makes a lot of sense for that kind of trip just because they're, they're nice and comfy, they roll fast, but actually that there is a surprising amount of grip off-road. As long as you're not trying to like be a superhero on loose sketchy descents, uh, you're going to be fine. You know, it's um, common sense. For the, the cockpit setup, I'm on the the Ritchie Venture Match Max Bars, these are just the standard alloy ones. I've tried the alloy ergo and the carbon ergo, um, but actually I, I just keep going back to these. They're kind of fairly light. I think they have a bit of flex in them and there's, you know, really comfy for the hands. I've got Brooks Cambium bar tape on, mainly because I put on a classic Brooks C15 saddle, and this is Cambium. Uh, I actually won this in TCR in 2015. I just thought I'd whack it on for touring and then obviously you need matching bar tape. So it kind of looks cool, especially with, with the, the tan sidewalls on the tyres. Um, obviously the shifters, they're again Shimano GRX, DI2 um, with the GRX calipers. And I've got these little Data Metal Blast little clip on TT bars. I, I really like them on this bike. Um, you don't really need a full TT setup, but it's just enough to, to lean on and keep out the wind. Richie Stem. I put a Chris King headset on because I found over time on the like the really kind of very fine bumps the headset could sort of rattle loose. I don't know whether it was a headset or the plug, but basically I've cured it by putting a Chris King headset in it because they have the, the grip lock system which kind of wedges the you know the, the system in place. And then I've got my Tour Divide 2019 top cap on there just as a little reminder. The reminder I also need to go back and do it properly. On to the bag. So I'm actually the front bag is um, it's just a, a dry bag, just an outkit one with the little kind of latches on. Um, so I wanted to run, I run the, the Mason condenser rack, which actually bolts directly onto the fork. So for a kind of a tour, I think it's, it's good just to be able to just squash everything on there. You can load it up pretty heavily. You can put your shopping on there. Um, and also I just like the kind of the look of it. It's pretty cool, I think. Obviously above that, there's the Revo light, which is mounted onto the bars. I mean, I have been using the the K-Lite system with their, their charger. I think it's a much better system, but actually the wiring was on this already and it's internal through the fork. And to be quite honest, I couldn't be bothered to change it. So I left it on there. Um, seeing as I've been pretty far north and I've done me of actually running in the dark. So I kind of figured that'd be the case. So I didn't bother swapping it out. So bottle cages, these are just the wolf tooth Morse ones. Um, so you can get them nice and low and they're titanium, which is a nice little touch. Dead fly on there as well, my bottles, lovely. I'm lucky enough to be part of the Telfin R&D division, so that means snazzy bags. So you can see this, this custom uh, made frame, frame pack, so I shall show you what's in those in a second. And then again, the custom rear pack, and then my camping gear in the back. What's inside my bags? Uh, the front bag, uh, I'm not gonna get open because um, it's a pain in the ass to take off, and it's, it's basically all my casual clothes. So I've got some flip-flops, pair of shorts, a uh, t-shirt, a couple of pairs of pants, and some wash stuff. And if I stay in a room or, which I've done once or twice, I'm mainly camping though, or if it's wet and I need to get in the tent, I can basically take the whole bag and I've got everything with me I need. So that's that. Um, in this bag here, the main frame bag, um, well, I've got some Haribo, which I haven't eaten yet. I forgot about those. Um, as we're in the middle of summer and the forecast was pretty good, I've just got a gilet, 
Um, knee warmers and arm warmers, they're in there. Pair of long finger gloves, just in case. Um, nice base layer, which actually I've been wearing out by itself because it's been so warm. I've got this Albion little backpack. I just take it in the shops when I um, go shopping. I've got the Albion Zoa down scarf, which is excellent. I prefer it to a buff, mainly because you can put it on and off as you're riding. And secondly, you can put it down in front. It just keeps your chest warm. Uh, and it's warmer than a buff as well. And then I've got, what's that? Oh, that's me on warmers. I've got my face mask, because it's still a thing. Um, a pump, it's a uh, Halford Special, but uh, it kind of works. I've got my tool kit with all the usual spares. I've got a whistle because I use this bag for Tour Divide and I left the whistle in there. Uh, that's to scare off bears. You don't get those in Europe though. Got an inner tube with a valve extender to match the deeper rings. Been caught out there before. And then I take my tent poles out and put them in the frame bag just so that the, the rear pack's easier to, um, to pack down. Which brings me onto the rear pack. I'll show you what's in there. So I have some sweaty bread rolls from uh, Lidl some cheese to go with said bread rolls. I have my Albion Zoa rain jacket, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, it's expensive if you're gonna buy it, um, but it's well worth every single penny. I, I wore that in Tour Divide, hiking through snow in ridiculous storms, and I felt really, well, I was dry, and I felt very secure and like, just uh, comfortable um, in it. Like I didn't, I felt like, uh, you know, I was a match for the weather. I have, oh, a bag of coffee, and half a bag of muesli, that's for breakfast tomorrow. It's my sleeping bag, um, just in a dry bag here. It's a PhD Designs one, it's a custom one I made, got made. Um, it's a little bit longer, and then I've got a, um, a foot zip in it, and then a three quarter length zip, um, just because I get sort of hot feet, just allows me to modulate heat a bit more. There's it's my trusty Thermarest Neo Air mattress. Then I've got my little stove, I've got a folding stove. It's a C to Summit stove. Yeah, C to Summit stove um, with a little coffee drip and my folding cup and a, a flint to, to light my um, uh, my stove. Then I've got oh, two bags of rice. I've been carrying those for days now. I should eat those at some point. And a tin of mackerel and tomato sauce. Should also eat that. And I've got some wet wipes because this is a civilized trip, of course. Got my Seed Summit inflatable mattress because it's comfortable. And then I've got my tent. Um, that's actually the, the footprint for it. Um, I carry that because the lightweight tents, they tend to be quite thin on, on the bottom. And for a trip like this, like another 100 grams, it doesn't make any difference. And it's kind of useful. Like you want to sit down at night, you want to make your dinner. Sometimes it's good just to have something to sit on. Um, then I've got my tent, which is a Nemo, I want to say Hornet. It's a Nemo Hornet two person tent. Um, 880 grams apparently. But I've used this for years. Um, I've lived in it for six months. You know, I've toured, two of us in it. Um, really good. It's probably getting a bit towards the end of its life now. Don't want to get stuck in the rain too much in it, but uh, it does a job. And yeah, that is the rear pack. Right, finally in the top tube pack, I'm going to be quick because it's started raining. It's basically stuff. There's chain lube, there's my titanium spork, there's a toothbrush, there's my stove, there's some tools, a mosquito head net. Um, sunscreen, like a Euro charger thing. Basically all that kind of stuff. It's um, basically stuff you want to hand um, that you're probably gonna need throughout the day. Um, I just keep it in the top tube there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my Mason ISO in search of. Um, and that's my, I think that's pretty much the best touring setup I've had. Um, I go through various iterations and I'm sure it'll change again, but I really do like this. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure this bike will see a lot more action. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out the Riding Home from Norway videos. There's actually two. Yeah, and then I guess you should do the old like and subscribe thing because apparently that matters. So yeah, thank you very much.